Oh, oh, oh. How cold is it? It's not warm. Are you dipping? No. Oh my god. <laughs> I couldn't think of a better way to celebrate the first real spring day than to bring out the old canoe and bust through some ice to get to the, to get to the camp spot. It was fun. It might only be like five degrees outside, but after a full long winter of minus 20 to minus 30 lows, five degrees in sun. It's so nice. Feels like we're in the tropics. This might as well be the Florida Keys right now. This will be our last night spent on the ice. There's a creek here that just started to flow and where we are is probably about a foot to a foot and a half thick solid ice right to the muck. It's kind of like a muddy bottom, so we're safe. And yeah, I figured might as well take advantage of the ice camping when we still can. We're gonna get camp set up really quick here. Gonna find some good wood for the wood stove. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a good, good weekend out here. Maybe go for a dip. Maybe go for a dip, <laughs> who knows? Those crazy Canadians. <laughs> Get some fire going. Yeah. Oh yeah. This will do just fine. To your credit, that that saw sucks. <laughs> it's not your fault. I'm done. Give up. I give up. <laughs> Scale one to ten, how would you say that went? That's probably a two. Two out of ten? Two out of ten. What if I step on it? Ow. Ow. Frick. 
So this is our inside the tent setup. So under here, we have these foam mats. Even though it's not getting that cold tonight, there still is a lot of cold air that comes up through the ice and the snow. This double bed looking thing is really just two cots that we set up side by side to go along with our uh, handy dandy mat. So this double mat is super handy. It actually fits on top of the double cots or the cots perfectly. It really makes it just like one bed. Okay. And it is self-inflating, which is ideal. very ideal and convenient because yep. it would take a lot of a lot of lung power to fill this bad boy <laughs> up that's for sure and of course we also have a double sleeping bag yep. it's two sim bags zipped together it makes a nice big sack sacks probably not the best word to use no. <laughs> ever actually no <laughs> Our goal is to get as big of a fire going and get this tent as hot as we possibly can because like we said earlier in celebration of spring we're also going to take a polar dip for those of you who might not know what a polar dip is it's when you go swimming in in the icy water <laughs> kind of like a tradition that we're starting right now That ain't warm. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Worst tradition ever. <laughs> I was so cold. I'm definitely warming up very quickly in here though. Yeah. But. Once you get past the initial shock, that's the hardest part. You can, I think I could have stayed in there for another second <laughs> 15 seconds it was just my feet if my feet agreed if i, if I didn't have feet I like right now there. my toes look how red they look <laughs> look yeah. my toes are the only thing that feels cold right now yes i'm warm everywhere well else. my like and my like my my thighs are cold too no, but my, other than feet. my upper body is warm my head is yeah. warm but all is good it's really warm in the tent mm -hmm. the fire is finally cooking pretty good just gonna warm up now and um Get that keep that fire going you want to go back in no not at all salmon time so for dinner tonight we're making salmon bowls as you saw, we just got the rice in the water and on the stove. In the bowls, we're going to have avocado, cucumber. Uh, no cucumber, I forgot the cucumber. We're going to have avocado, no cucumber, <laughs> um, cabbage. Broccoli. Broccoli. Carrots. Carrots. And um, we're going to make a soy sauce, lemon, zest, juice. Sauce. Sauce. <laughs> it's going to be good. Good. Oh yeah, it's hot. Now for the main events. Oh yeah, it's a nice piece.
Soy sauce and honey. Nice. Squeeze some lemon on too? Yeah. Did you lose them there? Yeah. Just a couple. Mm, wow. Oh, very effective. Yeah. You're going to have to get some of that sauce to go on top of this. They're loaded bowls. Mm. Oh, maybe the most important. Okay. Almost perfect. Just forgot. Utensils. Utensils. <laughs> Sucks. This is a very utensil. <laughs> this is my spoon, yeah. and this is. I don't think any rice will actually fit in here. Well, we'll have to see. You know what else is cool is we're done cooking dinner and it's still bright outside. This is incredible. Let's dig in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is going to be hard. It's going to be really hard. <laughs> I don't even know how to go about this. I might just like use my hands. <laughs> Salmon's perfect. Mm hmm. It was a great meal. Broccoli turned out great. Nine out of ten. Mm -hmm. Would have been ten if I had a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> Here, try with this one for a little bit. Oh yeah. I'll struggle for. Oh. <laughs> Even passing it over to me I made a mess. It might just be me. Oh, yeah. Easier. Mm hmm So with the ice melting, a lot of good fishing opportunities will be coming up here. This is the best time of year for us to trap minnows. We get a lot of common shiners and mud minnows. We have seen some otters, and the otters have been munching on tons of mud minnows. We're going to use some dog food here, fill up this trap. And we'll see if we can trap some minnows tonight. Good luck. So the plan will be just let that fire burn out. And uh, I'm not going to worry about putting in putting any more logs on tonight. I, I just honestly don't think we'll need it. That'll just about do it for tonight. Do you have anything else to say? No. I feel great after that polar dip and... Great dinner. See you guys in the morning. Good night. We got one. We got a single minnow. Wow, that's a little guy. This is called a sickleback. And it's not exactly what we were hoping to catch. So we'll let this guy go. Don't be free.
rise and shine. Thank you. I caught a minnow. Did you? <laughs> what kind? Sickleback. Oh, very cool. Coffee cheers. This is one of my favorite times of year to camp. The nights are so cool. And um, for someone like me who likes to sleep in a cooler environment, it's so comfortable. In the middle of the night, there was a beaver in the creek and it sounded like it was right here, it slapped its tail. And it sounded like a stick of dynamite exploded <laughs> right outside the hut. It scared me so much. <laughs> she was worried about the ice around us dislodging from, uh, <laughs> from the flat and just drifting down the creek. Luckily, that wasn't the case. It was just a, a frisky beaver. This will do. <laughs> <laughs> It'll have to do. Nothing too fancy. Just a classic. Mm -hmm. How is it? It's good. You're staying together? Yeah. 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 I think so. Mm. Oh! After <clears throat> two cups of hot coffee and sitting in this sauna of a tent for the last hour, it's tempting to go back in that frigid <laughs> water. <laughs> Colder than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, it's painful. As he goes a second time. <laughs> oh. Let's go. Oh, I can't wait for winter to be over. That's a way to wake up in the morning. Don't even need coffee. This was a great little icebreaker trip for spring and summer and what's to come. The weather is warming up and the stream is starting to flow even faster. And it's unbelievable, but the ice and the creek is tripping away so fast. I think where we're standing right now will be completely underwater within 24 hours. We just got our canoe all packed up. We are just about to hit the water and uh, paddle on home. Fast. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.